To create a new drawing, click this drop-down arrow, select New, and select ECAD 3D for Imperial Units and Open. And work on Parallel Projection. I'm just going to open my reference drawing, so I'm going to click this tile vertically. And if you need the PDF file, just comment below. All right, and I'm going to start working from right view and then start from this point here so I'm gonna draw a line uh, somewhere here enter 25 another line from this corner up to this corner is 72 so type L for line again right click to enter and specify first point which is the end point and enter, just follow that green dash line and enter 72. Or you can turn on your auto mode. And to your right is 12. Go down for 23. Or you can do all the way down. And then offset this one for 12, which is the thickness from this corner to this corner. So O for offset command, enter 12, offset this one, and then the distance from this corner to this corner is 25, so I'm going to offset again, so O for offset command, enter, and enter 25, offset again for 12, which is from this corner to this corner, I'm going to draw lines connect these two lines same process in point to in point now I'm gonna trim so type TR for trim command enter and select the whole thing enter again by right clicking and just remove that remove this one and enter I'm going to join the broken segments by typing J for join command. Select everything. Now this is one object. All right. And um, I think I have to draw this one first. This triangular portion. So from this point to this point is uh, 18. So I'm going to draw a line from this corner up to here for 18 and then connect it to the in point there another line in point to in point now i'm going to join the segments so this is one object and this is another object uh, before we proceed go down to your status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on we are tracking Object snap tracking, object snap, and maybe selection cycling. All right. So I'm going to turn, you can turn this around by pressing the shift key and the wheel on your mouse. So you can move this around easily. I'm just going to turn off the grid. All right. So the thickness for this one is, which is from visualizing, which is from this face up to that point which is also from this point up to the end so 48 plus 12 is 60 so what I'm gonna do is extrude this one for 60 so go to home select extrude command select this object and extrude towards the direction to your left for 60 and as you can see this one this um, triangular object is uh, located at this point so what I'm gonna do is just move this one from in point to in point and the thickness for this one which is looking from front view is 12 from this corner to this corner so extrude this one for 12 all right the next portion to draw is this 
two cylinders so what I'm gonna do is bring this drawing to front view maybe change this to wireframe or maybe x-ray all right so we're gonna create this ones these two here and uh, the distance from this point here which is this one here and this is the one looking from front view uh, from here to the center of the circles is 18 so type C for circle command or you can grab from the ribbon and just hover over and move your cursor upward for 18 units and enter the diameter so type D for diameter option enter and enter 18 right click to repeat circle look at center click the center and enter 18 for radius copy this one from quadrant shift right click and select quadrant and attach it to the endpoint here then draw a line type L for line command right click to enter and look at quadrant to quadrant another line from quadrant to quadrant shift right click and select quadrant all right so this one looking from side view the distance from this corner here going that way is 18 or move for 18 I select this one and this line here there you go move along the z-axis and follow the green dash line and enter 18 I'm gonna look from yeah it's good southwest no southeast all right so extrude this one from this point up to this point which is 36 from here to here looking from side view so extrude I'm just gonna extrude these two circles four circles rather for 36 now I'm gonna create this um, plane here so what I'm gonna do is offset this one I'm going to offset that for, and the thickness for this one is 12, as shown from front view. So I'm going to bring this to front view. Or for offset command, I enter 12. Select that line and click above it. I'm going to draw another line downward. Another line in point to in point I'm going to join the segment so type J for join command enter select the lines that's why my selection cycling is on because sometimes uh, it selects the whole the other stuff this line now this is one oh it's not joining maybe it's not connected all the way oh that's why it's slanted that happens all right I'm gonna, just gonna change this to wireframe delete that delete this one it's a line from in point to in point the easiest way is to isolate this one you 
because it's um, confusing when all the lines are showing up. All right. So J for join command. Select the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now right click and hover over isolate and select an object isolation. There you go. Now I'm going to change this to shaded with edges. Extrude this one all the way to the end. So I'm just going to snap this quadrant. And then create this wall. So I'm going to do draw another line from quadrant to quadrant, which is this one here. I'm just going to move from quadrant to quadrant. And um, thickness for that from this point to this point, which is also looking from here from side view is 12 from this point to this point. So what I'm going to do is bring this to top view, offset, and enter 12. It's already there. So enter, click the line, and click here below it. There you go. And then draw another line to connect these two lines. So L for line command, in point to in point. Another line, in point to in point. Join the segments by typing J for join command. Line, line. Now this is one object. I'm just gonna extrude this one. So extrude command from inside the modeling panel and click it up to this point or here. There you go. Now I'm gonna union the objects. So select union command inside the solid editing panel. Union, so this one, combine, combine this one, this one, and this one. Now this is one object. So what I'm gonna do is poke a hole. So subtract command from the ribbon. Select the objects that you wanna keep. Right click and select the objects you want to subtract. You can always turn this off, the selection cycling. Sometimes it's on the way. All right, subtract command again, select the object you want to keep, and select the objects you want to, you want to remove this one here, and this one. Let me see the hole, there you go. And then um, I think there is, um, I will do the fillet later. So now the next one is to create this, this one here. So I'm gonna bring my drawing to front view. I'm just gonna change this to X-ray maybe. And the distance from the bottom up to the center of this uh, circle here, the first circle is 25, and from the side is 22. So what I'm gonna do is draw a guide. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use line. So line from endpoint here, bring it upward. Just follow that. You can turn on your ortho mode. It's easier. So we cannot make a mistake. Bring it upward for. 25 and along the x-axis to the left is 22 let me check all right now draw a circle make sure your z-axis vector is pointing that way so it's gonna be parallel to the extrusion of the, the extruded um, circles so if this one is not parallel, all you can do is go to coordinates and uh, select Z axis vector. Click anywhere on the screen and just bring your Z, Z axis vector towards that direction. 
All right, so C. Uh, inter 8 for radius. And the distance between two circles here is 9. So what I'm going to do is just copy this one. Copy from center. to the left for 9 units. I'm going to draw a line from quadrant to quadrant. Another line, quadrant to quadrant. And then trim. So type TR for trim command. Enter twice. Remove that. Remove this one, this one, Remove this one. And delete this one. Now join the segments by typing J for join command. Select that line. Now I have to turn on my selection cycling. This one is... Alright, J for join command. Select this one. Enter. Now this is one object. To poke a hole, extrude that one. So select extrude command from modeling panel. Move it towards the right or along the z-axis. And then select subtract command from the ribbon. Select the object you want to keep which is this one. Right click and select the object you don't want or sub to subtract. There you go. I'm just going to change this to shaded with edges. Now the next thing to do is just apply fillet. But first I'm going to combine everything by using union command. Now this is one object. And the fillet is 5. The radius is 5. So go to solid. Select fillet edge. Go down to the command prompt and click radius option and enter 5. Enter again. Select that edge. Select this edge. Enter twice. I'm just going to move this one to get rid of this construction lines uh, change this to realistic I think we're done thanks for watching please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notification for the next tutorial